If you want to know how to put on the Brick Policare Kodiak Intel Flow Pads, you came to the right spot. We're going to show you how to do it fast and easy, step by step. Hi, it's Steve from My Cold Therapy, where we help people get back to living. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in the video, where you can find a link in the description box below. Let's jump right into it. Cold therapy is an awesome way to help relieve your pain and swelling after surgery, injury, or just the hard day of being a weekend warrior. So how do we properly use the cold therapy device? Well, I'm going to show you the proper way to do it end to end. And once we're done, I'm going to show you the number one trick to help make your cold therapy experience easier. All right, how do we do this? Michelle, take us through the steps of the application of the Bregg Kodiak Intel Flow Pad. The first thing we need to do is make sure that the pad and the part number are correct. You would do this by looking at the front right corner of the pad where the part number will be listed on the white label. Notice this is a sealed bag and once the sealed bag has been opened it cannot be returned. You will be getting a flyer with your pad that shows the different connectors. The Cube and Kodiak systems have different connectors. So please be sure to make sure that you order the correct pad. The other item you're going to get is a skin warning flyer. You never want to put the cold pad directly on your skin as it could cause some damage or some frostbite. And the universal protocol for cold therapy is 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. Also, please make sure to check with your doctor for any other instructions while you're using the cold therapy device, just to be on the safe side. To protect your skin, we sell sterile pads for each cold therapy pad on our website. This particular dressing is the same one that's used for the knee pad, the multi-use pad, and the shoulder pad. You can use a thin towel or a t-shirt, but please never put the pad directly on your skin. They come in a sealed package and this is how you apply them. So you're going to remove the dressing from the package. Once you open it up, you're going to see that there are tabs in place. You're gonna remove these tabs, which is going to allow you to stick it inside the pad. Once they're removed, stick the dressing in the pad, make sure you press it down in place and then you're ready to apply the pad to your skin. Now we're going to show you how to apply the Kodiak knee pad. As you can see, our sterile dressing is already in place. So when you put the pad on, you want to make sure the larger part goes over the thigh area. You're going to pull your strap around, fasten it, then you're going to do the bottom one. And you can loosen or tighten these depending on how you need it to be. Then you're going to take your hose on the pad and connect it to the hose on the cooler. You're going to need to push down these metal tabs before you fasten them. Once you hook them together, you should hear a click and that means they're fastened properly. Once you've done that, take your power supply, plug it into the cooler, and now you're ready to begin your therapy. Great job, Michelle, in showing us how to do that. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm going to show you our number one trick to help make things easier for you. We have freeze bags that you can use in the cooler. And they come in packs of 12. You place three in the cooler and the rest in the fridge, and then you just keep rotating the bags. This way, especially if you're alone, you don't have to keep chasing after ice, and your refrigerator will have a really hard time keeping up anyway. Now that you know how to use your cold therapy machine, let me know in the comments section below if you found this video helpful, and do give us a like, and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and let's get back to living.